Okay, now I want to look at a true proportion Z test, but this time pulling the data from uh, a data file. Now the data file, my Excel file, looks like this. It's whether or not a patient died. They either died or they didn't. And then whether or not a particular nurse by the name of Gilbert worked or not. So what we're looking at, and this is, I, I don't think the names were even changed. I think this is a nurse that was tried to see whether or not she was uh, being the angel of mercy, I guess you'll call it here. Um, but anyway, whether or not she worked and whether or not the uh, patient died. And so I'm going to read that data into R. Let me go ahead and just clear all this out. So I'm reading that in. You know what's in there because now it says my dad and it has a 1641 observations of two variables. And if I wanted to look at the data, I can just click there and you can see what it looks like in R. And then I'm going to just, what are the names? So those are the two names of the variables, whether or not Gilbert worked, and then the uh, patient by patient means died, yes or no. And so I'm going to make a table of that. Uh, table one, that's the name I have, it's equal to table, then I have the two categorical variables. Now, had I attached my dat, I wouldn't need to write my dat in, before each. Uh, name. I could have just attached my dat and then put Gilbert worked comma patient. But I thought it was worthwhile to go back and remind people that you, if you don't attach, and sometimes there's reasons you might not want to, but you can always refer to a variable, a variable by name of the data set, in this case my dat, dollar sign, name of the variable. So anyway, there I've done that. So you can see that it came up. I have a table one here. But if I want to see the values that are in that table, I have to say, okay, I want to see table one. And there it is, that when she, when Nurse Gilbert wasn't there, uh, no, wasn't there, 34 people died and 1,350 lived. When she was there, 40 people died and 217 people uh, uh, lived. And so now I'm going to just do a proportion test table one. So now I can just say use this table to do the proportion test, and I'm still going to have that correct equal false on there. And you can see now I have a, uh, a chi-squared value, and if I want the z value, I'll just take the square root of that. Um, and then here's a confidence interval. You can see it doesn't include zero. It's lower if she's not there, in other words. And then there are the two uh, estimates. So 34 out of, if she wasn't uh, there, your chance of death was 34 out of 1350 plus 34. And um, if you, if she was there, then it was 40 out of 40 plus 270, or 40 out of, 40 out of 257 uh, that died. That'll get, that does it for you. Now, I've also just rerun it using the numbers. So if I just had those numbers that uh, given to me, I could have said, let x equal a concatenate of the 34 and the 40, and the n equals a concatenate of I could have just added those together to get the sample size, of the, but I'm just saying 34 plus 1350 for the first sample size, and then comma 40 plus 217 for the second sample size. Of course, you're going to get exactly the same answer. And so the other thing I wanted to show you is that you can, you could have done this in the other way. Table, instead of Gilbert worked the by patient, you could have done it by patient and Gilbert worked. Um, Whichever way you do this, do this, if you're going to go by the table, you should print the table and just make sure you know what you um, have. That Now I have, I'm looking at, of the people that uh, died, how many of them there when, were there when Nurse Gilbert either was not or was there, and then the same thing, people lived when she was not or was there. And then you can look and see what that all looks like then you've got your test for that. Please note that the chi-square value, the 86.481, is the same either way you run it. And so that's it. Uh, in, in general, when you're running a chi-square test from the data, you want to run the table first, or a 
chi-squared test, or in this case, a z-test for two proportions. More on the chi-squared test as itself uh, in an upcoming lecture. But anyway, when you're running it, it's a pretty good idea to just well, run the table first, and then you'll be able to do that.